Hello, my name is Joshua Siefkin, and I am an Associate Curator of Education at the Stanley Museum of Art. And we're going to continue our video series on comic books and graphic novels. And the technique that I want to talk about today is a splash page. And we'll be using um, a page from Jeff Lemire's um, Tales from the Farm as an example of how artists use splash pages. So... Comic book artists often use what is called a splash page to help tell their story. Um, it's an entire page covered in artwork. Um, so there's no panels and there are rarely speech or thought bubbles, but sometimes you will find them um, on some, but that's kind of a rarity on, on splash pages. But the, um, the splash page is used um, to drive the story and the mood. Um, what it does is it sets the tone for the next few pages. Um, one way to think about it, if you think about the kind of iconic superheroes like um, Superman or Spider-Man, you know, they'll show them in a uh, uh, striking a pose before they head into a big battle. Or if a character is about to die, uh, an entire page will be dedicated um, with one superhero um, holding someone in their arms. Um, so they're, the splash pages, they're, they're big, um, they're dramatic, and so what we see here on Jeff Lemire's um, splash page is um, Lester's uncle, um, the little boy in the background, he's looming over us. He's standing over us. And Lester is in the background and his eyes are wide. Um, he's frozen. Uh, he's frozen literally and figuratively. Um, and the reason why he is is Lester's realizing the chickens he has helped raise are going to be slaughtered. Um, and so within the next few um, pages of this splash page, we have Lester and his uncle arguing and Lester breaking down into tears. That breakdown and interaction is foreshadowed and set up here in this splash page. Um, this is just one way artists use this technique to help tell their story. And if you want to try to create a splash page at home, here are a couple things um, that you can try. Um, you can use a hero you created or draw your favorite comic book hero. Um, but when you're doing this, don't forget to use dramatic shadows or light sources to kind of set the mood and tone. Um, after you create your own splash page, um, you can draw the the subs subsequent pages um, that is setting up the splash page. Um, in the Lemire example that we had, um, you know, we had them standing there kind of looming over us and then Lester breaking down and crying. So you have to kind of think about the chronological order and what you're trying to show. And then the final thing you can do that might be a little fun is ask a family member to model or strike their best superhero pose and then draw their pose. After you're done, you can switch places and let them draw you. So that's the end of this video. Uh, I want to thank you for watching and please stay tuned as we continue to make um, more videos for the Stanley Education YouTube channel. Thank you.